deep, but I'm going faster this time. The red light's on, though. We stopped. He had to warm his legs up for a minute. Those are definitely not winter riding pants he has on. We definitely need to step up our winter riding gear. This is the first year we've rode. These are actually still summer gloves. See all the mesh in them? But, uh, yeah. And it was like, he said it was 76 when we took off this morning. It is definitely not 76 now. My leggings are one of my thicker pairs, so my legs aren't that bad. But my, actually, my hands are getting cold. And we rode before in 40 degrees, and my hands stayed pretty good. But for whatever reason, today they're not. You see that sun behind me? It's going down. Down, down, down. The days are getting shorter. I noticed that this morning I was waiting for the sun to come up. And in the summer, well, when I'm driving, I wasn't just waiting for it to come up, obviously. But in the summer, it's like, oh, it's 5 o'clock. You might start to see a little shimmer of light. 6 o'clock, a little shimmer, you know, it's uh, the sun's up. Once the sun starts coming up or going down, you have like maybe 20 minutes. And it's up or down for like your best pictures, I've discovered. That one's hiding behind the clouds, though. But anyway, the sun did not come up this morning till I think it was 6.30, maybe closer to 7 o'clock or a little bit after. So we definitely, or I definitely know that winter's coming because I don't get as much sunlight now. We work odd shifts and I tend to do, tend to drive a lot. Oh, you see all them damn deer? See? There's some, there's some just right by the road looking at us like we're stupid. Anyway, I tend to drive, there's, I was going to say there's more over there, but I think those are horses. <laughs> and is Wyoming hay country? Because there's a lot of hay here. You see that field? When we was up at Devil's Tower, you could look out and there was just hay fields everywhere with the big bales in it. But I guess if they have livestock here, they probably got to have a lot of hay because there's long, hard winters here, lots of snow. No, oh, winter, winter is coming. The sun, it's, uh, I think he said it's 6.30 here. And you can see it's not actually going down yet, but it will be before too long. I wanna go to Miami. What do you guys think, Miami? Dallas? Phoenix, Phoenix would be great to go back to this well, not quite this time of year. It's still hot, but, you know, when there's three feet of snow up here, it would be great to be in Phoenix because down there it would be like 80 degrees. Yeah. Or Miami. I have thought about... Actually, we've both talked about it. There's all sorts of deer out there eating their hay. Oh, my gosh. You see them all? Here's some more over here. i got to pay attention to my side of the road. No, oh, they just jump over that fence like it's not even there. <laughs> not even there why do they have them fences up y'all you just jump right over yeah i see you out there you just jump right over it like it ain't even there we have talked about going to the florida keys and i'm sure we are going to ride our bikes across that big giant bridge he said the bridge is 140 miles Ooh. i'm gonna have to put on a lot of sunscreen but we'll have to do it in what florida actually considers winter that way it's not like a million degrees outside because i will burn to a crisp if it's like 100 degrees and sun shining so i mean i guess the sun will be shining anyway i'll have to lotion up and stuff obviously but it won't be 100 degrees down there come winter it'll be like 80 degrees it'll be perfect riding weather for us i need to plan our motorcycle trips have i asked y'all about butler maps I had never heard of Butler Maps before. And I was listening to a lady and she was talking about Butler Maps and it has the best motorcycle roads. And then I was looking at an app and it has, but it's a motorcycle app that like tracks your rides and your average speed and, uh, ooh, that's a cold one, your average speed and miles and where you went and everything. And it has Butler Maps on it. And I'm like, hey, what is this Butler Maps? So, I, of course, looked on Pinterest. Pinterest has nothing about Butler Maps. 
so I don't get signal out here so I ain't gonna be able to do it today but one day soon I'm gonna have to like Google Butler Maps and look up some stuff on it and figure out just exactly what Butler Maps can do for me and I will share with you what Butler Maps can do for me or actually if you already know about Butler Maps because I'm sure you've rode a motorcycle longer than I have you might be able to tell me what Butler Maps does for you so it can do the same for me I don't know the moon's out it is freaking cold when we get back to the truck I'm gonna turn the heater on and fight with the dogs for a place in front of it yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm surprised he don't stop again because my hands are really cold and I'm sure his legs are frozen hmm I wonder if this bike helps deflect a little wind off my legs because my legs tuck in actually a lot closer I think than his does because well I have a little tiny motor you know <laughs> Actually, this is pretty familiar. I don't think we're too awful far from from home. Home at the truck. You know what we're going to do when we get back to the truck, though? We're going to get in it, get heated up for a minute. Then we're going to get back out, load our motorcycles up, and drive off. I shouldn't complain, though. At least we got to drive down here and, and go see the Devil's Tower and experience other parts of the world. We are going to Ohio, though. But he found something in Ohio. We missed it last weekend. We didn't even know what was going on. They had some sort of uh, bike thing there, I think. Uh, oh, I can't remember. I'm sure if we go there, it'll be like in my next vlog. But it's like a great big bike showroom. And they had a show there last week with a bunch of vendors and stuff. So this weekend, there won't be all the vendors and stuff. But tomorrow, I bet we can go in there and check it all out. And look at all the bikes. Because you know I'm dying to sit on a Ducati. Oh, that's ha had some antlers. Because he claims that if I'm going to go off-road, I need a Ducati. I don't care about a Duc Ducati. But if a Ducati gets me to Alaska, then a, a Ducati it will be. Sure is pretty. I want, my favorite scenery is like that hill over there. How the silhouette of the trees is against the sky. That's what, that's like my favorite scenery when I'm driving. And just a little, little silhouette there. Oh, this is a nice warm place. Yeah. Oh, now it's getting cold again. All right, guys. I don't guess I have nothing else to say. I'm going to have to stop up here and thaw my fingers out. So, hopefully I will see you in the next video. And hopefully I don't have frostbite on my fingers because we done went riding trying to beat a three feet of snow. Oh, see the eagle? See it? I hope you can see it. Can you see it flying? Okay. See, I always do that. I'm pretty sure I did that in my last video that I recorded. I told you bye and then something happened and I start talking again because I'm a squirrel. Total and complete squirrel. Okay. But for real, guys, I think I'm going to get off here and whew, bend my frozen fingers because I don't want to bend them and them snap because they're frozen too much. And I don't think we're going to stop anywhere else on the way to Ohio, so I probably won't see you before Ohio. From Ohio, we'll probably go back to Seattle, but I don't know. if we, Every now and then, we might go to Miami or somewhere, so hey, if we go to Miami... You know, we'll be out cruising. <laughs>